Hi, I'm Mike Emmerich, the Global Ductless Manager and Trainer for Rector Seal. Today we're going to go through and install the Silent Plus Mini White Pump. Alright guys, we're going to open the pump box. You have your components here. You have your reservoir. This is an extra space for wiring and your pump is right here. I've already pre-installed the angle for this because when you do install this pump, you have to make sure your quarter inch pipe tubing is going to be connected to here. And if you don't have this installed already, it's going to be against this, uh, the, the uh, unit itself and have a kink in the pipe. And then also, we have your bag of goodies, which has your fuse in it and all your set screws and mounting hardware. A little bit more about the Silent Plus Mini White Pump is that this is a rotary diaphragm pump. That means this can actually run dry and it is a little quieter and it can run with dirty water. Number two on here is this product has your reservoir right here, but this has adaptive capacity sensing technology. What that means is there's two types of technology pumps have. You have your capacity sensing and your adaptive capacity sensing. Now with this pump, it will amp up and amp down according to load, just like your ductless unit does. So the uh, higher the volume of water that's coming through this at one time, the pump will actually adjust with their variable speeds. And also guys, don't forget to follow the instruction manual on everything. This template comes in the box with the, with the product itself. And if you are installing it on the right hand side or left hand side, you're making sure you're marking the holes correctly and you're leveling it up with the right tools. I have the zip ties already installed on the line itself. I'm gonna take obviously our discharge line and cap it right on top of here. This will slide right onto here. Right, it's like that. And you wanna make sure you use the zip ties that are provided in the bag to make sure it's secure. Now the zip ties are on. Make sure they are tightened so there's no water leakage at all. And proper technique, make sure you're snipping the ends as well. Now that we have the drain line installed, that's quarter inch tubing, you're gonna make sure the 5 8 drain tube that is coming from the indoor unit is installed correctly as well. So we're gonna slide the 5 8 right in the spot for your drain and make sure your electrical is all up in behind this like this and the other one comes up make sure it's behind it all just like this and you have your two set screws they're gonna go right here where your level is it's gonna slide up against here the pump is fully installed here the screws are set in Here's your screwdriver. Okay guys, covers off the unit. The wires are staked through inside here. What I just did is I pulled the front off here and you'll see S1, S2, and S3 terminals. I pull off the black wire from the outdoor unit that comes in and powers the indoor unit. What we're gonna do with that one is you're gonna take the black wire. You're also gonna take our black wire coming in and our gray wire and you're gonna take a wire nut and take those three together. So you have three wires sitting all together. The three wires are wire nutted off here and tucked away. Next, you're gonna take our purple wire and you're gonna replace that on S1, which your black wire was on originally. The red goes on S2. Make sure all screws are completely secure. Next, you'd have your fuse which needs to be tied into your red wire. Make sure this fuse is stripped correctly. So when you're stripping the fuse, make sure you hold the wire here and strip out. A lot of times guys have been holding it and this has been displacing the fuse and it was um, not connecting continuity between the fuse inside of here. This wire goes on too. You're not replacing anything or taking anything off the terminal. You are adding the second wire into here on S2. Once this is all installed, make sure the wires are all obviously hidden behind here. Make sure the plate goes back on. Screw it completely in there so it's secure. We finished the install on the pump. Now there's two adapters that come with this. You have the regular plug adapter, which would go in just like this. Now that would be for if this was completely flush mounted to here, but we don't have it flush here. So they actually give us a kit that gives you an extra spacer on here which this will slide right on. 
Last but not least, guys, is your reservoir. This is gonna slide right up into here. And once it clicks into place, you're all set. Make sure you check the pump for operation. Pour some water in the front. Make sure your power is back on and you're all set to go. Install is complete. Cover is back on. Filters are gonna go back in right now. Slide them right back in. Make sure they're cleaned every six months, guys, if not more. And cover is on and we're gonna snap it closed. If you guys would like to learn more about our products, please sign up for rectorseal.com slash webinars.